Where were you when the dream began? I want each person to think about a young child that's in your life, that's been in your life. I would tell you to take out your cell phone, but I only have 15 seconds for this slide. <laughs> but think about that child as we think and as I talk with you a little bit, as I share with you, because see, that's what keeps me looking in the mirror. I'd sing to you now, say, I'm thinking about that and talking about that man in the mirror. I'm going to make a change. And that's what I do every day. That's what I think about. That's how I reflect. That's what I say, am I doing the right thing? Should I be doing something different? Am I pushing in enough? Because here's your formative assessment. I want you to think about this as we go. I want you to know, are you sitting on the side just wondering what happened? Or are you watching things happen? Or are you making things happen? So as we talk about a couple things today, I want you to think about standards. So you've probably seen a variety of standards. So up there in the corner, you've got new math and the, the standards of the new math that came out. Then you saw the, the, the Common Core come in. You saw the NCTM principles and standards, some documents adding up. So think about it. When you think about the tests and that what we have to deal with. Were you around and did you take some of these tests that you might see? Hmm. Or some of these tests? Well, none of us are going to take these tests. But our students will be, or our grandchildren will be. So think about it. How about when No Child Left came out and the gaps got identified? Are you out there now making a change to close some of those gaps? Do you notice a difference? Do you see something happening? When you think about equity and access, probably the one of the biggest things we still need to really get a grapple on. Are you making a difference in providing opportunities for our students? Think about equity, think about access. Were you around when the bring your own device started? <laughs> Just imagine that one phone or this phone or that one, or pick one. Bring it on in. And are you set in ways and paradigms of no, we can't have these devices in the classroom because, 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 because we need to teach students how to use these devices. We need to help them use these devices. We need to take advantage of the affordances of these devices and teach them because if we don't teach them, they'll learn on their own. How about, were you around with the handheld calculators? Hmm, the slide rule, that other one up there, I'm not even sure what that does for you. Okay. And, so when you think about the calculators, are you still in the mindset of, oh no, calculators are bad, oh no, oh no, or are you helping them think through it? How about when we went one-to-one? -one? So imagine this one-to-one -one here, come on, bring it on in. <laughs> the lowest one in the bottom, or some of the other one-to-ones. So when you think about this one-to-one -one movement, this whole digital movement, where are you? Are you a one, a two, a three? Watching things happen, wondering what happened, and making things happen. Watching things happen, wondering what happened, or making things happen. Where are you? What's going on? That's a long 15 seconds. <laughs> hmm. That's a real long 15 seconds. <laughs> Let me hit the button. So, okay. Well, every now and then you come across that moment in time where it seems like life pauses. If you've ever been near <laughs> the Great Wall of China, you'll realize that you got to go one step at a time. You can try to run it if you want, but you got to go one step at a time because who knows what road you'll end up on. And we're all on all different kinds of roads, but sooner or later, one of those roads is going to help us. And we have to make a choice because you can't choose to go on all of these roads. You've got to pick one road to go on. You got to think through where you're going. That's another long 15 seconds. Yeah. Are you in the crowd sitting there watching and not knowing what's happening? Or are you standing on the sideline, getting ready to go in, getting ready to get into the game? Or are you the one in the game, making it happen, going for the goal, running down the field? Or are you sitting back? Because we all go through this process here. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? But sooner or later, we have to think through and get on one road, get on one path. Yeah. OK. Because it's a call for leadership. It's a call for us to stand up. It's a call for us to get in the game. It's a call for us to make things happen and work with our teachers, work with everybody that we work with in every capacity that we're working and working together so that we can go down one road, so that we can go down this road that makes mathematics better for all students, so that we can go down this road that no longer, remember those children that you're thinking about? 
Because when you think about the dreams, the only thing that really touched the children are the dreams when somebody is, encourages them, when somebody instills hope in them, when somebody touches their lives because they are going through things now that some of us have never even dreamed to go through. Never dreamed about it. And we have to realize this is what happens. This is what teachers do. If you've ever had a, te a student of yours reach out to you when they're in a crisis, not about math, but about life, then you know you've touched them, you know what you've done. See, I continue to dream and I keep, continue to keep pushing for my grandbaby here, for my baby girl here. Because what happens when a dream is deferred? We gotta keep going, we gotta keep pushing. All right, so math leaders here in Boston in 2015, where were you when, where were you when?